Why hello there guys, my name is Fat Ninja Turtle and today I'm going to show you guys how to do a transition like this. So in this edit I made quite a long time ago, just a nice little 3D transition. I had a lot of requests on how to make stuff like that and it's really simple. So I'll show you guys how to do it in After Effects and you can really do it whatever you want. So basically all you're going to need is two clips. So I just have two COD4 clips. So let me just drag the first one in and I'll just go to the part. Let me just put this on uh, half so it goes faster. I'll go to the part where I want to uh, get the transition. So all it is basically is I got a no scope cross map. Okay. Then let's go right here and let's click Alt uh, close bracket. So that basically just trims that layer. Then I'm gonna hit Command D to duplicate that layer. Then I'm just gonna drag this one out a bit. I'm gonna hit Time Freeze Frame. Okay. Then I'm gonna hit Alt Open bracket. So now it's just this one, you get the no scope, and then it freezes. So I'm gonna have about three layers, I'm guessing, maybe more, it depends on how many you want. Um, well, actually, no, sorry, that's not what I'm doing. This one, whoopsies, let's leave that like that, okay? I wanna bring the next clip in, and I wanna freeze the frame on where I want that. So let's say I want it to start, like, right, um, Let's let's go right there. That would be nice. Okay, so you click um, Command Shift D, then on this clip you hit Time, Freeze Frame. Oh, whoopsies, Time. Okay, whatever. I missed. Jesus Christ, my mouse is acting up today. Okay, there we go. Freeze Frame. So now basically, I'm just gonna move this all over. Where I hit the No Scope, I'm gonna hit Shift One. So that's where I hit it. And by Shift Two, I want the, it to be the next clip. So let's have this right here. Let's bring it over a bit like that. Okay, so now basically what I'm going to do is just go onto this clip. I'm going to hit Command D and duplicate this thing about two times. It depends on how many things you want to mask. And basically, all you're going to do is grab your pen tool, go onto full resolution so you can see all the pixels, and I'm just going to mask out whatever I want. So you can click the H to uh, drag it along. So basically, Click H, drag it on G to make a point. So I find that's pretty helpful. So I'm just going to mask around the guy. I'm not going to do this amazing, guys, for tutorial purposes. I'm just going to make it quick and easy and something simple. So I'm just going to do this. Whoopsies. There you go. Boom. Something easy. So basically, all you want to do is make a mask around your gun or whatever you want to come in the transition. So let's just finish this up quickly. And then I'll show you what to do afterwards. So let's just finish this up. Hurry up. Come on. Okay, there we go. So there, there's one of my masks. And as you can tell, it's just this mask. And you can click F to feather it out. So I'm going to do about five. That seems reasonable. And then I can mask something else. So I'm just going to make another layer because I think I'm going to mask about four things. Uh, three things, sorry. And uh, this one will change the opacity. So I'm going to hit G again, and I'm going to mask out this dude. So I'm going to zoom in. This nice looking dude. I'm just going to mask around him. And yeah. And yeah, so this is uh, this is Fat Ninja Turtle. And I'm making another tutorial for you guys. And um, I think I've been doing pretty good in my tutorials. How about you guys? Oh, also, I can talk about something. Yeah, I can talk about something. So um, when I hit 300 subscribers, I'm going to post an editing contest. And um, I have all the links on how to get like a gajillion softwares. I have like Sony Vegas, I have After Effects on Mac, on PC. I've got Cinema 4D on Mac and PC. And um, yeah, I have just a lot of links in that description just ready sitting on my desktop. So when I hit 300 subs, you guys are in for a surprise with clips and everything. So basically, um, I can just do one more. So I think what I might do is I'm going to go to the M on this clip. I'm going to hit Command C, copy that mask, go on this one, Command V, and then I'm going to make that, I go to M, I'm going to make that subtract, so now it's basically subtracting that, and I want to mask out the door, so I'm just going to click off, I'm going to mask out the door, so basically my door just comes in, and that'd be cool. Do -do 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 -do. 
There we go. Something like that, because the gun's in the way, so I'm just going to put it, like, here, I guess. And, and if you guys didn't know, if you hold on to the... When you click, if you hold, you can, like, make a curve. So let's just put it there, because it's going to subtract that part anyways. And then we'll make that one add. And you want to have the subtract layer over top, because then I'll subtract it. Okay, I'll show you, I'll show you what in a second. So basically, if I solo this one out... One second. Uh, no, I need that on top. Sorry. There we go. If I solve this one out, it's just the, um, it's just a door. So that's pretty simple. Okay. So now, basically, I'm going to show you guys how to make it come in sideways. And yeah, and I just did that with my hand, even though you guys can't see my hand, but whatever. So I'm going to go onto my three mask layers. I'm going to make them a 3D layer. Then I'm going to hit R on every single one of them. And you guys can do whatever type of rotation you want. So I'm just going to solo this layer for a second. And how about, like, you can do a rotation like that. So that's the first one we're going to do. So you want to go to Y rotation. You can make it 90 or negative 90. It's up to you. It's the same thing, basically. And we're going to go over 10 keyframes. So by doing that, you can hold Command, Shift, and the right arrow key, or Control, Shift, and the right arrow key. And it goes over 10. And then we're going to make this zero. So then we're going to hit U to get rid of the keyframes because we're done with that one. Then this one, um, one second. Oh, I need to unsolo that and solo this one now. So this one, that one just rotates it that way. So we don't want to rotate that. Oopsies, make that zero. How about we rotate it like that? Yeah, that looks nice. So it comes out on a Y axis. So that looks nice. So it's going to keyframe the X rotation. And we're going to go over 10 frames again, and we're going to make this 0. Then hit U to get rid of the keyframes. So we're done that one. Then we're going to go in the last one. Then we're going to hit, I think we should do a combination. So we're going to do, we're going to hit 90 on that one, and 90 on that one, and 90 on that one. So it's basically just going to go crazy. It'll look nice though. Then we're going to hit Command, Shift, uh, right arrow key again, and bring these all down to 0. So 0, Tab. Oh, no, whoopsie, just, yeah, just click it, because then it goes to that, and you don't want that. Zero, and zero. Okay, so now we're done all of this, and we have this last part. Basically, this one's just a frozen frame, so just hit U to get rid of that. Now, we can trim all these ones, so we can, actually, no, not just yet. I want to hit T for opacity on this one, and I'll just go over one, um, 10 frames again. Uh, hit a keyframe, go back by pressing the go to previous keyframe, and then go to zero. So now, you can go over your 10 keyframes, and you can hit um, the close bracket on every single one. So close bracket, then you to get rid of it. You can press command up, or control up, to go to the next one. Close bracket, control up, close bracket, control up, close bracket. So then, now all we got to do is drag this clip down, bring it in, and sync it up. And uh, yeah, let's see how this looks. So I'm just going to do a quick RAM preview. I'm not going to do it in like full resolution. Let's put it like third or something. So let's do a nice little RAM preview. Yeah, so I see somebody cross map. Boom, no scope. And that was actually my clip, guys. So that's cool. So yeah, basically, that's about it, guys. Let's just look that over. <laughs> okay, that sounds hilarious. Just because the audio is messed up when it's 59 so. 59.94 frames per second, and you don't render it out. <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. Um, that's basically it, guys. Just a nice little gun transition. You can do it with really anything. So I have like a bunch of um, ones where I have a car come in, and I have some where I have just like a pillar come in. You can do it w with whatever you like. And I'm just gonna show you guys. So here is the clips. So I have. Uh, three. I have three clips here that are 720p, but like the clips aren't that great because I don't have an HDMI cable, so it makes my HDTV a little bit laggy. So until I get one of those, I kind of suck at COD. And then these ones are the ones I got back when I had um, my non-HDTV when it wasn't laggy. And these are actually pretty good clips in my opinion. And then, um, then here is everything you need for the contest. So as you can tell, there are a lot of things here. I have all the clips, I have cinematics, I have more clips, like if you want the other clips, and then I have more cinematics, and then I have how to download all these effects, and how to open them using like the 
this thing, which that's what I use for Mac, and then you need Win WinRAR, WinRAR for PC. So I basically have everything here. So I'm really organized for you guys. So um, yeah, so almost 300, seven more. We can do it, guys. I think we should do it before next week, if possible. That'd be great. And, uh, yeah, so that's about it for the tutorial, guys. Today, we learned how to make a nice 2D transition. Yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and talk to you guys soon. Bye.